Did you know you could use TypeScript to write your AWS Lambda functions? I'll show you how next on Talking AWS. Welcome to Talking AWS. My name is Dan, and in this video, we're going to cover how to use TypeScript with AWS Lambda. Now, before we get started, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and click on that notification bell. Now, for those of you who use AWS Lambda with Node.js, you should consider using TypeScript instead. Unlike JavaScript, TypeScript has type safety and validates syntax during build. It's been around for several years, and is used by front-end platforms like Angular, but can also be used on the back-end. Now I know what you're thinking. TypeScript is not a supported language in AWS Lambda. Do I need to use Lambda layers to support a custom runtime? Not at all. TypeScript is actually based on JavaScript and compiles down to regular JavaScript code. In this quick tutorial, we will create a simple Hello World application using serverless framework and TypeScript. For those of you who don't know, Serverless Framework is a third-party open-source deployment tool for AWS and other cloud providers and is similar to AWS SAM, but it's more extendable. In this case, we will be using a plugin to compile our TypeScript and deploy it as a JavaScript output. Okay, let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm going to use AWS Cloud9. Find Cloud9 in the AWS console and open or create a new environment. If you don't already have Serverless Framework installed, install it by typing the following command, npm install serverless-g. Now that Serverless Framework is installed, let's set up a new AWS Node.js project using the SLS create command and name it TS Lambda. This will create a project folder called TS Lambda with two files, a handler.js and serverless YAML project file. Now let's change our current directory to TS Lambda. Next, let's set up our npm package JSON file. At the prompts, press enter to accept the defaults. All right, now let's set up TypeScript. This will consist of two packages, the main TypeScript package and the Serverless Framework TypeScript plugin. Now that we have our libraries installed, let's update our Serverless YAML file to add the Serverless TypeScript plugin. While we are in the file, let's remove all of the boilerplate comments to make it easier to read. Now let's add a TypeScript configuration file to the root of your project. Name it tsconfig.json. Now let's rename our JavaScript file from handler.js to handler.ts and then open it. Now let's replace the original JavaScript contents with the following code. This code will export a TypeScript function that returns the message hello from TypeScript. Next, let's set up an HTTP GET event in the serverless YAML file. Great, that's it. Make sure your files are saved and let's deploy it using the SLS deploy command.
Once deployment has finished, you will see an endpoint in the output. Click on the link and select Open in Preview. If everything is working properly, you should see the message Hello from TypeScript. When you are done with this project, you can remove all its resources with the SLS Remove command. The source code for this project is available on our GitHub repository. The link will be provided in the description below. Once again, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe to this channel, and click the notification bell to get notified of new content.